Greens and welcome to another update on the B17. So last time I showed you what I've done in the fuselage as of then, now it's finished I think. Um, what else? Got the wings together I'll show you in a minute um, and just general bits and bobs. So first up we'll have a look at the rest of the fuselage. So first off you can see we have the very front done so obviously that's where the bomb aiming will sit um, that's fairly bog standard it's literally two seats a bench with no detail on and the I presume that's the bomb aiming bit with a gun on the other side I'll show you that in a minute um, cockpit bog standard two seats control yokes and instrument panel so the panel was actually a decal but it went down fairly nice I thought it looked quite good nothing wrong with that you're not going to see it at all anyway so but you may notice seats are different um, sizes now that's because the two seats that were meant to be on now were the bigger ones and they completely disappeared so well one of them completely disappeared so substituted it in once you've got the windscreen on and everything you're not going to notice it at all I doubt but yeah that's just a little thing for you to note um, there's the back of the cockpit Bombay, I think I showed you before. I'll show you again. Box standard. Um, back here a bit, we have another section. So the seat from in there that you can see the little um, a bit in there. That's where the seat should be, but obviously with all the chopping changing, I just left it out. You're not going to notice it because, to be honest, the glass isn't the clearest. As you can see, in the window there, you can't see anything out of anyway. But, you see, we've got instruments and that, probably radio stuff, I presume, and more instruments on the back. So, going back a bit more, we have the under and uh, um, fuse large ball turret so one of the crew would sit in there take and fire at any aircraft trying to shoot down um, there's obviously all of the cags and that in there well of the ball turret I mean um, there's a gun so one of the two guys one on each side would be standing back here um, I presume that's a um, bullet thing and they store the bullets obviously they get thread through to the gun that's all I can presume that is and further back you can see there's a gap missing I'll show you that in a minute but you can probably guess what it is and the rear wheel that was all ready to go and everything but dropped it and broke the wheel off but you know, accidents happen, so I have to fix that all back on. So, yeah, that's the inside of the fuselage done. I don't think there is anything else, but once I go it together, nothing else is going in there because I'm not pulling it apart again. Outside, we got. If you'll focus a bit more. Another piece of glass there. That piece of glass there right in the front spent a good 20 minutes half hour scrambling around on the floor because it's small and it's clear so couldn't find it so yeah I spent a while looking for that bit the, that bit's glass there as well the whole section but obviously you paint all the bits in then 
going down, obviously not much, just the windows, uh, another window there. I just gave it a quick coat of red, see how it turns out, it's not that bad. So, yeah, that is the inside of the fuselage done. Obviously on this side again, got the gun, and exactly the same on the outside. Um, the wings, so, um, I got a bit impatient, so I ended up gluing the wings on about 20 instructions before I showed off, so, there they are. Um, went for the option of having the air brakes now, just need to touch up a bit of paint in there, a bit, just get it all sorted in there, make it look good and proper. Um... Wheel wells, you can't really see too much in there. You can see some bits. I've got them looking fairly nice. See the exhausts there. Um, yeah, they went together quite well. Um, these bits here, all these little holes, two there, two there, and two there. They had a strip going along them, that went in fine. Might need to dig out the filler for if it'll focus a bit more. Um, there you go. Grab the filler out for the gaps there, but that's nothing. It's just a five ten minute job. Um, engines are all in. So hopefully. They look something like they should. I might give them another coat of the grey blue, it said. If you can see it, it's a different shade there. It said do the sort of hub bits grey blue, so that's what I did. Um, so they look distinctive from the other parts of the engine. Same on this side. As you can see, obviously more filler down here. Really did make a dog's cock up of that um, again engine bay uh, wheel well not much to say in there you can't really see half of it flap down again and obviously on the wings I painted the tips in red as well the flaps and bits I did try to make a move but I think a bit of glue got into them and they were a bit tight anyway so they don't move too much but they're both in the same position so they don't look out of place so it's a positive. Um, here we have one of the propellers. It's not completely finished I need to I think I've got to do the hub silver and definitely got to do the end yellow but that is honestly one coat of satin black it's come out looking fairly nice so I'm happy with that everyone says humble paints aren't the best but as you can see they do a job um, main wheel well one of them it's handy because the centres of them came in two halves and the outside in two halves so you put the centres together and put the outside together um, so aids in painting I just need to touch up the tyres but that's quite a good idea that's something I definitely would want more for manufacturers to do so said about the hole in the fuselage you can probably tell it's for the door yep I took the door off thought it might add it some interest into the kit so there it is cut it's a bit shabby around one of the edges but um, you know there's not much you can do about that after you cut it it's just go with it and hope no one notices so obviously that's the front dome haven't painted it or anything yet so 
No point in showing you that. Here is the rear turret. It's almost completely green in there. You, can't, you probably won't see much of it anyway. Um, nah. As you can see, if ugh, that was the worst bit of the kit. That it said to put it in, so I put it in, and it didn't fit. So I put it in again, and yeah, it just kept going wrong. So gonna fill a sand, fill a sand, fill a sand until it's almost where I want it. Um, the top turret. This bloody thing won't focus. There it is. Obviously, you just need to paint the top of it, and it's done. Got two guns out the side of it. Um, yeah, this one went together all right, except the guns. If I show you a minute, sort of, you may be able to see in there. The guns have a bracket. And I put them on upside down so nothing fitted, so I had to snap them off because they wouldn't cut off. I was like trying to cut them off and they just snapped, so yeah, I've had to redo that and put a top on and got that all looking better. So, on to the main part of a bomber aircraft the Bombay doors obviously bog standard there's nothing you can really do with them bit of a scratch air but that's nothing won't see it um, other sides isn't painted so I'll paint the outsides of them when I do the outside of the well the bog of the aircraft um, just looking around now, I don't think there's much else to actually be done. Well, said about because it's all been put in the fuselage. So I think for a minute I will cut the video and join you again when the fuselage is together and hopefully won't have any caps so see you in a minute okay guys so now the B17 is together as you can see um, it's been I think two days since I did the video just so I could get it all looking half decent before showing you guys so and there it is, the huge bugger in all its glory. So that measures, I don't know, I'll quickly look at the box if I can find it. That measures about 32 centimeters long and 44 centimeters wide. So, yeah, a 30 centimetre ruler plus a 15 centimetre ruler each way. So, yeah, it's a big bugger. Um, I'm putting it together, you might be able to, see, well, you can see. Filler there, there. Down there was fine. Um, down there I used a bit, there and there. Um, to be honest, with the bottom here, could have got away with not using it but I thought just to make sure I would use it, get it looking perfect but up here on the main ridge there was a huge gap I couldn't get it to close whatever I did so I ended up having to use filler but the rest of it was alright there were just little gaps so I just filled them in um, looking at the wings down here a bit doesn't show up as much on video but it, there's a visible gap there so I may just fill that in a bit and there both wings may fill them in um, obviously I've got the T 
tail stabs. So they're on, ready to be painted with the flaps at the back. So it all it's near enough ready to get painted. But one little thing you can see just there. The bloody glass fell out when I was putting the filler on and I wasn't prepared to take it all apart, so yeah. It looks like I've got a bit of work to do to try and get that to not show up, so oh well, you know. Nothing ever goes right with me. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking. Um It's going to go well in my collection because I've generally got more World War II stuff than Jets, so it's going to go well. Um, especially with the Lancaster I've got in the stash. So, yeah, that bit I forgot to glue in when I put the fuselage together, but thankfully the hole was just big enough for me to slot it in. So now, position it in wherever way I want. Um, also I'll put the nose dome on and side panels there. Got that all on. Um, tail gunner, he's all in. I still need to fill that off. But yeah, I'm still going to write with the rudder on. Should, there we go. Just a little bit of glue holds not on. Yeah, that I'll keep working with that a bit. It will move better in the end, but for the time being, that's all I've got to do with this kit. I haven't done anything else on it except for wings, stabs, and obviously all the little glass bits of rudder and stuff. But yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.